right. While I'm trying to figure out what to do with the uh, escort tranny, um, I just pulled the right control arm out of my Saturn Ion. That was the issue. The bushing just fell out. I still got to take this out. And then I got to put this back in. So I'll get that done today. This actually comes off pretty easy. This big bolt goes through the back up into the floor. Um, these two bolts attach this to the cradle of the frame there. And this little bolt comes out of there on the stair and knuckle, and that drops down fairly easy. Um, these are a weak point with these cars. So I'm going to replace, I got to replace both sides and then get it uh, an alignment done and that should solve the knocking noise going over bumps problem. It's actually the second set of control arms for this car. And so this will be the third bushing. And there's the rest of the bushing. Now I'll see if I can find a piece of pipe or something or just very carefully tap that back in. The new bushing. Alright, the best I could come up with was this thing. A British made inch and an eighth Garrington Kestrel, it's called. It's an old, uh, I don't know it was for working on heavy machinery. I'm going to pound it down like that and see what happens. Well, I can't get it started tapping it in, so here's my uh, press. <laughs> Not fun. Alright, so it's in, and yeah, I had to take it to the shop to use the press. Just wasn't happening here. <laughs> Alright, there's the lower control arm back in. nice how this ball joint drops just by taking this bolt out it allows it to freely drop which is cool that one back in I torque them down by hand that's a little tricky getting back in but where's the uh... okay with this one all loose Slipped around really easy now it's tight so we'll see how she rides all right the uh, right side is done I'll do the left side maybe next weekend apparently that's better than that oh man what am I into now yeah I just uh, had a pretty cold shower uh, Water heat is not working. Um, pretty sure it's the thermocouple, so I got a new one. This is the old one. I don't know what goes wrong with these, but they do stop working. And I'm just gonna put it back in there. Just kind of fits up, up in there. And shove the burner back in the water heater. And reattach it to that. Yeah, I'll put this little thing in here. Partial. And there's the new thermocouple. So let's get this in. Well, there it is installed. There's the new thermocouple put up in there. Those are installed. Let's turn our natural gas back on. I'm going to push that pilot down and take a grill lighter in there, light that pilot. I'm going to hold this down for about a minute and then when I release that, if the pilot stays on, that was the trick. Oh, that's a good sign the pilot light stays on now. Now let's see what happens when we hit... That goes back on to... 
the on position. All right. Okay. I think I'm going to have hot water again. Cool. Just did a quick minor repair to this older Dodge. Now there's two things that just really don't go together. A Dodge truck and this music just does not go 